Hi everybody, this is Bobby with Bobby Stamps and I have a cute card I'm going to make for you guys today. This is a card that we made at my local card and coffee class I do locally um, the second Saturday of every month. So I just wanted to share it with you guys really quick. It's just super cute. It just is a cute little Valentine's Day card I think. So I'm going to use the stamp set, Sure Do Love You. And I'm going to be offering a class. The registration opens on January 20th. And I usually leave my registrations open for about a week. I provide all the card stock. And um, all you're paying for is the contents of the class, the stamp set, the inks. Um, there's no extra charge by me for me doing the class for you guys. Um, you, I will send you a PayPal link. Um, invoice, I'm sorry. And then once you pay that, then when the registration closes, I order everybody's class contents. Stampin' Up! mails everything to me. I repackage everything to include the card stock, any embellishment or free gift that I'm giving you for taking my class. And then I put it in the mail to you. And once I do that, then I send you the private exclusive YouTube video link so you can watch the video. You can watch it however many times, wherever, whenever you want, at your own pace. Just it's as long as YouTube's there, the video will be posted there. So you will be getting um, in that class, it's going to be the Sure Do Love You stamp set and the Lots of Love box framelits. So just so you know that. For this particular card, I used Rose Red for my base, Rich Razzleberry for my second layer, and I'll have all the instructions for this card posted on my blog. A piece of Whisper White, another, uh, or a piece of Powder Pink, and then a beautiful piece of the DSP paper that comes with, um, I'm just going to grab it really quick so I can show you. I had it laying behind me where I was cutting. Um, but this is called Painted with Love, and it is absolutely gorgeous, the papers in here. So I'm sure that that's going to be used in, in that class. I mean, how can you have a class and not use that, right? I'm going to go ahead and just score my card base um, while I have it here. And then I'll just lay that out of the way because we're not going to use that for a little bit. I'm going to lay these out of the way as well. We're going to use Powder Pink, Rich Raspberry, and Rose Red inks. You know, I hardly ever use Rose Red. I was thinking of that today. I have to use Rose Red on this card. And it blends. I mean, just look at that. It just looks so pretty with that um, DSP. So I'm going to move that out of the way because I'm going to bring in my Big Shot because we are going to use some of the framelits right now for this class and I've already got them laid out the way that I'm gonna cut them so I'm gonna use the banner but I'm actually gonna wait until we stamp so I'm just gonna lay that off to the side for right now but I have a piece of gold glimmer paper that we're just gonna use this tiny heart so I'm just gonna leave that on there and I'm gonna have to cut this heart out three times so while I'm talking I'll just go ahead and we'll cut out the gold heart on the glimmer paper and we'll cut out this and I have a lot of cutting to do because you guys will watch this video after my local card and coffee class um, but it's actually tomorrow so I'm trying to get everything prepped I have goodies um, I'm gonna be posting if I haven't already because I'm not sure in what sequence I'm going to be uploading these videos yet but um, I have a treat bag that I also made for everybody that is attending my local card and coffee class. So I did a video on that for you guys and they're just super cute. I'm just going to lay that little framelit there before I end up losing it. And that's the piece of Rich Razzleberry. We'll throw that away. And then we're going to do it one more time on powder pink. Or is it pink powder? That's another one I don't use. Nope, powder pink. <laughs> I've noticed that Rich Razzleberry I use a lot, but the rose red and the powder pink, I, I don't think I've used them a lot. So we're done with this heart. Um, then I'm going to just throw that out of the way. But then I'm just going to change out my magnetic plate for my regular platform plate. Put one of the, the clear plates on there. I'm going to open up my polka dot embossing folder and I'm just going to strategically put these where they're going to get the most embossed um, little polka dot just so that, that I make sure that they show up. Just put that face down and then we're just going to run this through the big shot. 
I just wanted to give the hearts on there. They kind of blend in where I stamped all around the background. And I just wanted to give them just a little bit of something extra, a little bit of dimension or um, design added to them. Let me pick, place my Big Shot back over on my in my Big Shot area. Everything's right behind me, so I don't have to go too far. Lay this out of the way. So there you go. And you can see those. Um, they're nicely embossed. It just gives them a little bit, a little bit something extra. And we'll just lay those out of the way now. And I'll have to grab the Big Shot again when, when I do my stamping and um, we'll have to use it when we pop this out for our sentiment. But for right now, I'm just going to grab a paper towel because I want to stamp off and I don't want to get it on my background. I'm going to open up Rose Red and then I'm going to open up Rich Razzleberry and then I'm going to open up my Powder Pink. And then I'm, I've already got the tiny little hearts that come with the stamps that are already mounted on blocks. So I'm just going to randomly, you know, we'll just do this one first. And I'm just going to do a couple in the rose red. Then I'm going to have to move my blocks. I'm going to just clean them off. And then I'm going to do the same thing in Rich Razzleberry. And I'm just going to randomly go all over you know do two probably do two of each one and then make sure that we have them all over the page we can go back if we have to to do more so i'm just gonna get the next one and we'll just do the same thing in the rose red this one i think i'm just gonna do three and then we'll do rich razzleberry And if you see where it looks like it's not, like I missed, that is how the stamp set is supposed to look. So it's going to, it's kind of like a washed out look once you stamp. Okay, and then we're just going to take the little like fatter heart and the same thing. I'm not sure if I just double dipped there, people. I think I might have. I think I went in with Rose Red and then went in with Rich Razzleberry. Let's do the Powder Pink. And we'll just, and I was just trying to go for a fun background with different colors. Okay, now I'm going to go back in just randomly. I'm not, I don't really care. I just have a lot of pink right there. So I'm just going to go back in with these smaller hearts and just try to fill them in. Just add a little bit of different color. It doesn't really matter the pattern um, because there's so much. I think I'm just going to leave it. Maybe one right there. I'm going to. Um, there's so much that we cover this up with. You don't see a lot of it. It's just like a little peekaboo in the back. And I closed up the rose red. And I think that's the one I use. It is the one I use for the banner. So I'll have to open that one back up. So let me just move this out of the way. We will grab the sentiment, ink it up in rose red. And this is where you'll probably see that it's kind of a washed out look. Because I noticed it right away, right there on the banners, but it's lovely. I like it a lot. Let me move my inks back out and I'm going to grab my Big Shot again. and leave the regular plate over there. So we're just going to put that there. We'll put the sentiment there and then we'll just line up the framelit. Make sure you have it turned going in the right direction. Just make sure you have a nice border all the way around. And we'll just pop that out. There we go. So then what I'm going to do is we'll just actually start putting the card together. So what I'm going to do first is I think I'll put the piece of DSP on the um, 
powder pink paper and I'm just gonna add two strips along each side and then just measure that eyeball it at the top try to make sure I have the same amount on each side when I'm doing that okay then we'll go ahead and grab our card base and I'm going to put the piece of rich razzleberry just put some snail on the back of that and then we're just going to center that like so and then we'll do the same thing with the piece of whisper white that we just got done stamping on and just to make sure you put that right side up like that then we'll take the strip you could put dimensionals here if you guys choose to I'm just going to leave just a little bit peeking out this side here and I li am lining this piece up and this piece up with my rich razzleberry okay so then I'm going to grab dimensionals and I'm going to use three on the back side of each one of these and I'll show you what I did to kind of even them out and make sure that I was getting them spaced the way I wanted them spaced on my card so I'm just placing dimensionals on the back like that I'm going to go ahead and take my sentiment and I'm going to place three dimensionals on the back of it like so okay and I'm going to put my sentiment down first that way I can kind of gauge where I want to start my hearts at on my card and I'm just going to kind of move it up just a bit don't want it all the way at the bottom just kind of like that and then you can lay your hearts um, I'm going to start with this one at the top because I used the rose red here so I don't want that those colors right beside each other so I just placed this heart right in the center and then I lined up this piece of the heart right down the center with the edge like that is how I d how I lined mine up to kind of get them spaced the way I want it and you just want to make sure because you don't want it to come down over um, your sentiment so as we're doing that we'll just pay attention to that so let's just go ahead and we'll just start this one and you want to start it kind of close to the top so I'm just gonna put it right in the center and just leave just a little bit of that peeking out my next piece is the powder pink get that backing off and then I'm just going to like I just said just drop that down and line that up kind of there and if your heart does go over a little bit of the banner you're going to be fine if it's just a tad bit but there we go that's how simple that card is make sure that you guys visit my blog I'll have the complete supply list for you oh wait a second I almost forgot my little glimmer guy just to add a pop of color that little gold glimmer heart I put right there on that corner okay so let me zoom in so you guys can get a good look at the card make sure you visit my blog it's bobbystamps.com and like I said I'll have all the supply list and the instructions the the PDF it's always right at the bottom of my supply list it says um, supply list and you just click on it it's a hyperlink if you notice if you hover over it and then you can print that off and use this to make your your own cute little super sweet valentine's day card thanks so much guys for stopping by